Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create this holographic background material. It's really super cool and super easy to do. So let me just show you what we're going to do today. I'll go into the material here. And this is just a little bit of the some of the blueprint script that we do. It should only take about, I don't know, I'm guessing two or three minutes. So let's go ahead and get started on this. This is really easy. Okay, so we're going to right click and we're going to search for what's... I'm kidding. There's no way in the world we're going to do all this. <laughs> I made a tutorial about this before about materials and how complicated they are. And people are like, I don't know what you're talking about. But what I'm going to show you how to do is to get this material into Unreal Engine from Unreal Editor for Fortnite. So that's what this is about. But we are going to create this material, but we're going to kind of hack it. So we're going to copy it is what we're going to do, but we have to fix some of the things that go wrong. So where did this material come from and how cool is it? Well, it's a super cool material and I got it from Unreal Editor for Fortnite. If you come into Unreal Editor for Fortnite, there's this feature examples and they have this one called detonation. So let's go ahead and open that and I won't say what I've done before. And so one of the problems with Unreal Editor for Fortnite is unlike Unreal Engine, it doesn't let you export assets that easily. You can import some stuff, but then you have issues. And as far as exporting or transferring assets, it's very difficult to do. So it doesn't seem like they want you really exporting any assets out of Unreal Editor for Fortnite. That's my impression. There is no asset actions you can do in Unreal Editor Fortnite like you can do in Unreal Engine. However, with a little ingenuity, a little stick to you can figure out how to get some of the stuff out. So let me show you what started this, is there's this detonation project example, and if I can get inside of here, there's where I noticed these holographic screens. And what caught my eye about it is if you hit play, I'm deconstructing this right now because I just thought it was such a cool effect. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get this material to start with out of here. And then we're going to try to go from there and just see how it all kind of pieces together and, and go from there. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to jump into Unreal Engine here and I'm going to create a new project and start from scratch. So I'm just going to go to new project here. Third person templates fine. I'll leave it called my project five. And we'll just let this start. So basically right now I have two sessions running. I have Unreal Editor for Fortnite running and I'll have Unreal Engine running. And there's just a couple things we have to fix to make this work. So maybe more than a couple, but it shouldn't take too long. It shouldn't take as long as if we tried to write that material script. So anyway, if we go into edit, load layout, default editor layout, and then go content drawer and we'll dock it. And then we'll come up here on the content level. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and create a new material. And I'll just leave it called new material. And then we're going to go ahead and double click into it. So it's ready kind of to go. So we're going to go ahead and dock this and we'll push this off to the side. Now, one thing I know from the material that we're going to be transferring in, we need to set it to surface, translucence, and then unlit, and we want it two-sided. So those are the settings that we need to do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into Unreal Editor for Fortnite, and we're going to track down this material. So these are just the billboards, and if you hit play, you can see how the text appears on here. It's actually really Cool. And here's the holographic backgrounds right here. So we can click into any of them that we want. And then there's a material instance there. So we're going to click into that. And there it is. And there is our material that we want right here. So we'll double click into that. And here is where I said the complexity of materials is really off the charts here. There is so much going on here. I don't know how long it would take to actually do all this, but I would imagine it might take a little while. So let me click back in here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag and select all of these nodes. Maybe not that one. 
And then I'm going to go control A. Did I get this one? Let me do that again. I want to make sure I get all of them. Except for that one. And control C. And then we'll jump into Unreal Engine. I'm going to zoom out here because we'll probably need the space. And we'll go control V. And see how all that comes in? Isn't that cool? All right. So we just got to get that material node. I don't know where it went. Is that it over here? Yeah. Okay. Interestingly, out of all of this script, it only plugs in in two places up here. So that's easy enough. The multiply goes into emissive color like that. And this goes into there. But you'll notice that we've got some errors down here and we're missing a material function. So if we jump back into Unreal Editor for Fortnite and we look at their code here, there's a material function over here and you notice that it duplicates and they call it material function square edge mask. And if we click into it, it's a rabbit hole here, it's its own separate spaghetti too. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Unreal Engine. So we're going to right click, go to material, material function is what we want. And we'll call this MF square edge mask. And now we're going to double click into that. There we go. And then we're going to scroll out here. We'll jump back into Unreal Editor for Fortnite. We're going to Select all of that, control A, control C, jump into Unreal Engine, click over here and control V. And this one, this output here, goes into here, as far as I know. That I think is correct. Let me double check. Yeah, it's the second one. Okay, fantastic. So now all we got to do is jump back into Unreal Engine and we just have a couple more things we got to do here. So now we're going to delete this and we're going to search for a material function. Material function call here and it's already set to our square edged mask. We need to have those inputs. I don't know why I don't have them right now. Oh, you know what? I bet it's because I didn't I didn't compile and save this. Sorry about that. Okay. So I needed to compile and save that. Okay, so now what we can do is put this into here. The result goes in here. The the multi-frame goes in here, and this goes in here. And then we can just control D this, and then we delete this. And let's see, we're almost done here. So these two come in here. This one can go into there. This one goes into here. Subtract goes into there, and then result just goes into there. And that gets rid of almost all our errors. And then we just have one more error to fix, and that's going to be over here. There's a missing texture right there. So if we come in here and look what it is, we look at our material over here. It is click that. It's a T noise pack line. I don't have that in here. So what I'm going to do for that is just get any noise, a similar noise texture. So d double click this and let's just search for T underscore noise. And let's just go with this one right there. And look, that clears up all our errors. So we go apply and save. Now if I come to the third person template here 
if I come up to window and I go to place actors I can search for a plane and just drag this into the scene like that and then I'm going to click on this new material we just created I'm going to right click and go create material instance I'm just call this MI Holo B and I'm going to save all or just hit save well I like to save all save all and then we're just going to drag this over here and if I pull this up and I rotate it if I come down here maybe I want to turn it this way there is our holographic material pretty close pretty close to what there was good enough for our purposes so this is one way that you can take assets from Unreal Editor for Fortnite, bring them into Unreal Engine, study them, deconstruct them. And if you wanted to reuse this material in Unreal Editor for Fortnite, you would just follow the same procedure. But instead of bringing it into Unreal Engine, you just open another session in Unreal Editor for Fortnite and then just do what we just did here. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.